Your diet can play an important role in lowering your cholesterol. Changing what foods you eat can lower your cholesterol levels and improve the fats floating through your bloodstream. Adding foods that lower LDL, which is the harmful cholesterol carrying particle that contributes to artery clogging atherosclerosis, is the best way to achieve a low cholesterol diet. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you find this information helpful. It really helps me make more videos just like this. Cholesterol is a waxy substance. It's not inherently bad. Your body needs it to build cells, make vitamins, and other hormones. But too much cholesterol can pose a problem. Cholesterol comes from two sources. Your liver makes all the cholesterol you need. The remainder of the cholesterol in your body comes from foods from animals. So for example, meat, poultry, and dairy products all contain dietary cholesterol. Those same foods are high in saturated and trans fat. These fats cause your liver to make more cholesterol than it otherwise would. And for some people, this added production means they go from a normal cholesterol level to one that's unhealthy. Different foods lower cholesterol in various ways. Some deliver soluble fiber, which binds cholesterol and its precursors in the digestive system, and then drags them out of the body before they get into circulation. Some give you polyunsaturated fats, which directly lower LDL. And some contain plant sterols, which block the body from absorbing cholesterol. Here are several foods that can help you lower your cholesterol levels naturally. The first food is oatmeal, which contains soluble fiber. This reduces the bad cholesterol in your body. Soluble fiber is also found in such foods as kidney beans, Brussels sprouts, apples, and pears. Soluble fiber can reduce the absorption of cholesterol into your bloodstream. 5 to 10 grams or more of soluble fiber a day decreases your bad cholesterol. One serving of a breakfast cereal with oatmeal or oat bran provides 3 to 4 grams of fiber. If you also add fruit, such as bananas or berries, fatty fish has high levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which can reduce your triglycerides. It is a type of fat found in blood, as well as reduce your blood pressure and risk of developing blood clots. Omega-3s reduce triglycerides in the bloodstream and also protect the heart by preventing the onset of abnormal heart rhythms. Because of those heart benefits, the American Heart Association recommends eating at least two servings of fish per week. Baking or grilling the fish avoids adding unhealthy fats. The highest levels of omega-3 fatty acids are in mackerel, tuna, salmon, and trout. Foods such as walnuts and flaxseed have small amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 and fish oil supplements are available. But make sure to speak to your physician before taking any additional supplements. Almonds and other tree nuts can improve blood cholesterol. A recent study concluded that a diet supplemented with walnuts can lower the risk of heart complications in people with history of a heart attack. All nuts are high in calories, so a handful added to a salad as a snack will do. Eating two ounces of nuts per day can slightly lower LDL. Nuts also have additional nutrients that protect the heart in other ways. One of the most important foods in the heart-healthy Mediterranean diet is extra virgin olive oil. One five-year study gave older adults at risk of heart disease four tablespoons a day of extra virgin olive oil alongside a Mediterranean diet. The olive oil group had a 30% lower risk of major heart events, such as stroke or a heart attack, compared to people who followed a low-fat diet. Olive oil is a rich source of monounsaturated fatty acids. 
the kind that may help raise good cholesterol and then lower bad cholesterol. It is also a source of polyphenols, some of which reduce inflammation that can drive heart disease. So next time, try using olive oil in place of other fats in your diet. You can saute vegetables in olive oil, add it to a marinade or mix it with vinegar as a salad dressing. You can also use olive oil as a substitute for butter when basting meat or even as a dip for bread. Avocados are a potent source of nutrients as well as monounsaturated fatty acids. Many research have suggested that adding an avocado a day to a heart-healthy diet can help improve bad cholesterol levels in people who are overweight or obese. People tend to be most familiar with avocados and guacamole, which usually is eaten with high-fat corn chips. Try adding avocado slices to salads and your sandwiches or even eating them as a side dish. Replacing saturated fats, such as those found in meats, with monounsaturated fatty acids are part of what makes a Mediterranean diet heart healthy. Legumes are a group of plant foods that includes beans, peas, and lentils. Legumes contain a lot of fiber, minerals, and protein. Replacing some refined grains and processed meats in your diet with legumes can help you lower your risk of heart disease. Pulses and legumes, including baked beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, and split peas can help lower cholesterol levels. Legumes are high in vegetable protein and fiber. The soluble and insoluble fibers assist with lowering cholesterol absorption in the gut while they promote growth of beneficial gut bacteria in the large bowel. Fruit is an excellent addition to a heart-healthy diet for several reasons. Many types of fruit are rich in soluble fiber, which helps lower cholesterol levels. It does this by encouraging your body to get rid of cholesterol and stopping your liver from producing this compound. One kind of soluble fiber called pectin lowers cholesterol by up to 10%. It is found in fruits, including apples, grapes, citrus fruits, and strawberries. Fruit also contains bioactive compounds that help prevent heart disease and other chronic diseases due to their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Eating berries and grapes, which are especially rich sources of these plant compounds, can help lower bad cholesterol. Also, dark chocolate is one of many foods that have been shown to lower cholesterol in clinical trials. But that doesn't mean you should eat it with every meal. Consuming dark chocolate has shown to lower low-density lipoprotein and total cholesterol levels. Garlic has been used for centuries as an ingredient in cooking and also as a medicine. Many studies have shown that garlic lowers blood pressure in people with elevated levels and may help lower total and bad cholesterol. Vegetables are a vital part of a heart-healthy diet. They are rich in fiber and antioxidants and low in calories, which is necessary for maintaining a healthy weight. Some vegetables are high in pectin, the same cholesterol-lowering soluble fiber that occurs in apples and oranges. Pectin-rich vegetables include okra, eggplants, carrots, and potatoes. Vegetables also deliver a range of plant compounds, which offer many health benefits including protection against heart disease.